If you've ever waited by that inbox, waiting for that sponsorship prospect to send you that email about the proposal you just sent him or her, there may be some reasons that your sponsorship proposal isn't working. Now, it's important to keep in mind some context. Sponsors receive many sponsorship proposals every day because there are far more sellers of sponsorship than buyers. So you have a circumstance where a sponsorship manager is receiving a lot of proposals in their inbox and they don't have much time to go through each proposal. So they're really looking for three important things, things that you can beef up in your proposal if it isn't already super strong. Let's talk about those. First, are you describing your audience well enough that the sponsor can see their customers in your audience? Are you describing your audience demographics? The gender, race, age, place where they live. But if you're really good, you're also describing their values, the hobbies that your audience has, what products do they buy, and are they ready to buy products in the near future? Because if one of those products belongs to that prospective sponsor, you're gonna have a very interested prospect knocking at your door. Asking. The second thing a sponsor is looking for as they look through your proposal is, are you the kind of marketing partner that's relevant to their marketing plans? And very often that involves the size of your audience and your ability as a marketing partner to reach it. So for example, as soon as the sponsor looks at your proposal, they're going to your Twitter feed, they're going to Instagram, YouTube, they're looking at your website, how many unique visitors that you have, and they're determining a based on that, do you have enough marketing oomph to carry their message to your audience? And is that audience big enough to be relevant to their brand and sales goals? If the answer is no, the sponsorship proposal won't get any further. And the third reason that sponsorship proposals often don't work is they are not unique, nor are they customized to the challenges of the sponsor. So from a unique perspective, there are thousands of people seeking YouTube sponsorship. There are hundreds of sports teams looking for sponsorship. What's unique about you? That has to be throughout your sponsorship proposal. Also, it has to be customized to the unique challenge that the prospect has. So have you had a conversation with them that you know their challenge is because they've just introduced a new product? They have a challenge because They've just entered a new region of the country to do business and consumers in that region are unfamiliar with their products or services. And so you've created a solution in your proposal that is customized to the challenge of the sponsor. Because as the sponsor goes through the proposal, they're not thinking about you. They're thinking about how this resolves a challenge that they have and allows them to show their boss that they're selling more or they're improving the image of their brand or they're accomplish accomplishing another business goal. So if you take the time to beef up your proposal with better demographics, more relevance, and a unique customized solution for the sponsor, then you're increasing the chances that you're gonna receive a phone call or an email with a prospective sponsor wanting to go to the next level and have that final conversation with you before you close that sponsorship deal. If you'd like more tips delivered to your feed, just follow this channel after this video.